if you smell it. No, I'm kidding. All right, welcome to the Bad Inputs Podcast. My name is Toka Lurker. I am here with your, the resident director's chair. Yo, Lay. And your mama's favorite streamer. CJ Ferg. Now affiliated. Y'all should show some love. Those are bits, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I can make sense. I'm watching him. If he's not making those bitch, he's fired. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here to talk to you about the things that suck. Because they suck. Like straws? Stop. I hate We're going to make your day better. Like whores. Like whores. Like whores. Like whores. How are you guys doing today? Whores make your day better? Yeah, they make I, any I, kind I, of day. They at least make your head better. So, oh, that was, that was an interesting yeah, way to talk. Yeah, we started off just not this, even, this is, no this subtle is, introduction is, at all. What am I looking at the screen down here? They can't see it, but you guys want to explain this? Uh, that he's practicing, you're practicing Smash Brothers. Yeah, I'm practicing my wave bouncing What shit. nerd plays Super Smash Brothers 4? Me! I play Melee. <laughs> melee? You're I play, Melee? It's a man's I, game. I play Melee. I feel like there's a battle between Melee players and four Smash 4 players. You have no idea. They're like, <laughs> oh, Melee's better. It's just like the battle between light skin and dark skinned. Yeah, but that was like more like metaphorical. I guess. I, I still have not under obviously me being white I don't have any concept of like why that's been a thing. It's no, like between the, the battle between light skinned Jews and dark skinned Jews. Is that a there thing? There is no battle. There is absolutely no battle. You don't know that. I I do. I went to Israel. It's kind of like the battle between <laughs> Palestinians, Palestinians and Israelis. I'm gonna take my shoes off while this conversation is happening. Wow, that's kidding. I don't. Is it that intense? It's not as intense. Is but it, you know, it's holy war. Maybe it's you like level. Kill each other. It's level one. I don't know what you describe. Hey Twitch, Twitch. I hope this is the reason you made talk shows for because hey, this is this is happening unfortunately. Oh like what level would you categorize the Palestinian and Israeli conflict? What do you mean level? Like what like are they? Level. Are you okay? Let's in terms of Super Saiyan. Like let's say it's like Super. Saiyan. I don't think those are coincided. I'm just gonna load I'm this just up. Just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, Super <laughs> oh, Saiyan. Oh, too close. Oh, sorry. Uh, like let's say. Yeah, like, let's say level five. It's like five Super Saiyan, right? What the f- Okay, okay so yes, Super yes, Saiyan five. yes. Okay, yeah, so God, like, let's say like a- It's like Super Saiyan, Super God, or whatever. Yeah, he's like fucking boss. Yeah, he like grows blue. a tail and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's say that's like a Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict. It's like Super Saiyan five. <laughs> I think the <laughs> battle between- comparison. I think the battle between light-skinned and dark-skinned is at least super saiyan just like just super saiyan if i may intercede <laughs> okay. uh, light skins are cheaters and liars dark skins are more the people your girl will leave you for i guess, I, guess more, I was like trying to understand the details like why like what caused the struggle with those <laughs> of the light skin spectrum see it the other way around that you guys are liars and cheats and the light skins are not yes I'm... what in the world <laughs> why is why is there a divide I don't, we should all love each other. But it's all just one land, right? That's a We're joke that's to gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, it's, it's just weird how, how people just, and, and like, I mean, you know, like people just separate themselves off like really bizarre things sometimes. And then like, and then it like snowballs into something where it's like, oh yeah, of course that's the way it is. You know? <laughs> not like, I'm, no, I'm not saying that's like what you guys are like in that sense, but there's a lot of stuff like that where people are just like, oh, hey, just because I'm different, this means it's, it's the way it works. Like stereotypes are are goddamn prevalent. I love stereotypes. <laughs> Why do you love stereotypes? Because like sometimes they're true. They're amazingly they're true. Right. I've never gone a day without eating a watermelon. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> and all I do is steal people's money. I mean, what about uh, speaking of stealing money? We saw possibly the world's greatest invention. Oh, I'm buying it. I'm buying yeah. it tomorrow. There are robots. But not those type of robots, my friends. There are robots that will blow you. And I don't know if I can find it. It was on Reddit earlier, but it's a weird construct. Imagine a person on all fours. Now, replace that person with metal. So it looks like a weird sled. But now you can dress up that sled with pants and a shirt and a wig. And it's a robot that will suck your dick. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Fifteen thousand dollars. This is an off topic, but fifteen thousand dollars will get you a talking sex robot with warm genitals. Warm genitals will be on. What? Yeah, and they were, and they, they, if you the, the whole thing, you're like listening, and they're just like, oh, and there's. Can we there's, show this? Whoa, no, no, you can't 
show that. You cannot show that. I'll put the link in the chat. Yeah, you can't show that. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, it's fake, though. You can't. I, you can't. It's fake. I know, but just let's, dude, yeah. there's there's side boob and butt. Let's, let's not risk yeah, it. Yeah, but it's a mannequin. He's powdering her pussy. Let's Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> so. The link comes from Abyss Creations, which makes uh, the trademark real dolls. It's supposedly at the forefront of this field. You'll be glad you subscribed. Oh <laughs> there are numerous Asian companies making major advances of their own. Matt McCollum, the founder and CEO of Abyss Creations, said his vision for the future is sex robots involved emotional attachment. Oh, so getting people. So you're gonna you're gonna do what was it? Uh, what was that? What was that movie with? Um, Walking Phoenix. Walking her? Her? Her, her. He's the one where he fell in love with it with a phone. With Siri? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, her. Yeah, it's, so they, they, they want that. They want, they were like, we want to make sure if you're going to buy this robot, you're going to actually fall in love with it emotionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have sex with it. <laughs> that's, but it's emotional. Like, this is, to me, that's like saying we want like a full blown attachment rate. We don't mm -hmm. want you to like just buy this and then just, you know, once in a while, get a blowjob. We would want you, this to be like your next girlfriend. Would you buy it if it had Scarlett Johansson's voice? Oh, yeah, you're getting some. You're getting into a Futurama episode right now. Is I what just, you're doing? I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what they mean by warm genitals. How how lifelike can you make genitals? Really? When you put your hands together and warm it up, and you like touch yeah. it, it's like ooh. Wouldn't you ever use lotion with your hand? It feels just like a vagina. No, 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 no. I want like <laughs> how are you gonna make metal feel like a puss? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Probably gonna uh, some plastic. But then you yeah, put it to yourself. Like it's, it's not Chobits. It's not like a, a self-walking fuckbot. Yeah, you yeah. Get to just do all the time, like you have to press the on button and then get it into position you for, it for. You gotta for, start like a car. What if you like yeah. hurt its feelings and <laughs> it doesn't want to fuck you anymore? It leaves you for another human. And that doesn't have. It cares about your feelings because it has foreplay in it. That's just apparently harsh. like part of it is is literally like the, the robot will give you foreplay and shit. Mm. I think it's just <laughs> the next generation of artificial intelligence. I agree with that. With genitalia intelligence. Why do you guys say genitalia like that? Genitalia. I don't know why you don't want me in with that. Genitalia. <laughs> genitalia. Genitalia. Um, it's it's weird, man. Now robots are doing everything. Now that like Russia made those robots that have guns, like they, there's, there's just a robot that just can hold pistols because you know they have never watched fucking Terminator ever. Fuck Our good friend in chat, Aaron, says that he would buy one if they had a Nicki Minaj voice. Oh. And he said the same way they make flashlights and they look like the real thing. I have seen those. Uberly cool fleshlight uh, <laughs> avatar fleshlights, if you avatar will. Avatar fleshlights. Uh huh. The blue and it looked like someone's going like this sideways. Did you they just put your dick in it? Did they really make those? Yeah, they have like avatar fleshlights, alien like the what? Ridley Scott fleshlights and all that shit. Ridley Scott. They have vampire fleshlights. Because <laughs> yeah, people have had some fetishes. weird. Well, like infectious. What? That's some weird fetishes. It's not, it's, I mean, it's yeah. Fetish. I mean, it's like a fetish. You're going to watch Twilight and tell me you don't want to fucking a, a Twilight a, a a vampire? Like, I'm Twilight. Robert, vampire? Robert Patterson flashlight thing sparkly. Why is that Look at you. You're all, you're, you're, all, go that way. you're all flustered. <laughs> you're just, flustered. You want it. I'm trying to remember his name. And who says it has to be a hit? Kirsten Dunst. It Kirsten. could have been a boring Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst blowjob. That has to be it the was... worst blowjob in the world. You never know. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Like, no, it, it, it's not Kirsten Dunst. No, it's not Kirsten Dunst. It's Kristen I... Stewart. Both yeah, yeah there you go. Both oh, Kirstens Kristen's... probably give horrible head. I think she's lesbian. No, she fucked a director for, <laughs> for the Oh scene. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she proclaimed herself lesbian on SNL. Uh, no, well, then she well then afterwards she dated Johnny Depp's fucking ass. And okay. how she probably like I think it was him explain in the worst way possible I'm a lesbian <laughs> I like eating carpet <laughs> I'm a carpet monster she's fucking hot as fuck on SNL yeah when she's not you know what she probably is in that one movie she had with uh, what's his face it was a weird theme park movie the guy that played a uh, oh, uh, ball dude Jesse Lesenberg. Yeah, yeah Jesse Lesenberg Adventureland yeah yeah I like that movie it's a great movie yeah like if, the, if more I like, like that, that I'd be more attracted to her but um Nah, not really. She's always so awkward for me. She, uh, well, see, that's, that's she seems high. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. She seems very high all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and in Adventureland, she came off very like, just kind of a normal chick to some extent. Not a normal chick, I yeah. guess, but she was very just like, grounded. Yeah. And I'm like, because cool. like you watch Twilight, dude. I remember watching the first time I watched Twilight. I was like, I don't understand how people yeah. legitimately enjoy this movie. Just from a standpoint of like, 
so much random crap happened and nobody was emotional the whole time. Like it, everyone had there was just this monotone face. Whenever I oh think, no, he saved me from a car crash. I love him now. Whenever I think about that damn movie, I just think of that scene where he first sees her and he's like coming in his pants. Did no, we get a video. Oh, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have made it so weird. Is she that, that cute? And then, but he wanted to like kill her. Yeah, but that he was can't. part of the. That was like he wanted. That, that was the romance behind yeah, it. Yeah, and I find that so just unbelievably weird and fucked up, man. Like, how like, you wouldn't want to be a vampire that only eats animals and shit. But, but have you ever had? I'm pretty sure no person in this room has ever had the, the desire to have sex with something equally as much as you want to kill it. Isn't there a word for that? I don't think so. You're like you fuck something that's dead. Oh, oh that's no. necrophilia. Yeah, that's oh, that really, yeah. 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 I don't know why I went there. I don't know. Really I didn't know that's yeah. Let's just pull it back. <laughs> oh, it's just like I like the Paramore song that came from that movie. If that helps anything. Necrophilia. Really? Yeah. Paramore song. That's right? not the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> necrophilia. That's <laughs> like the Paramore song is necrophilia. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Paramore would not be as popular as they are now if they were a song called Necrophilia. I had the weirdest crush on her like in 2007. Haley Williams? Yeah. Remember well, her nudes? Yeah, I saw her nudes. They're interesting. She has like flat sh- chest, strawberry titties. But she's nice. Yeah, cut pale skin, red, t- like red nipples. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why I felt I got a crush on her because then the, that's what you get video watching it in the revolutionary at the time on my phone. I was like, my cousin was like, oh, look at. Why does she have a nice ass? She's such a scrawny person. Oh, she has like a great ass. Yeah, she does. What a great, what a great ass. The Code. Oh, yeah, that was the name of the song. Ass. That was a great song for Twilight. What, what song? The Code. How do we get here? I wish... I'm not doing the song anymore. <laughs> Pay two dollars. I hate singing in that voice, so high pitched. I mean, I, I, I try not to sing like a, a like that high pitched of a girl very often. That shit's hard to do. Like, I, co- I, they cut off the penises of men, I believe. I'm gonna Google that to make sure. What? Yeah. What do you mean they? Who's they? Back in the you just, day. You just some said, cult? You some, with they cut off some, penises of men. Yeah, the penis pe- cutters? Men that would croon, as you will, uh. that high pitched. Uh, they were just seeing that. They were just cut off their penises. Wait, that would, I thought crooning was, was like Frank Sinatra. It was like, oh. Like that sort of like. like I, was, uh, I just assumed crooning oh. means singing and wailing. Uh, and, I, I don't and know. Cries. I, I don't know. I always assume. Every time I heard. The word croon, somebody mm-hmm. would usually follow it up with like Frank Sinatra. So I, that's uh, why I, always just, I just usually associated it. But yeah, it might just be singing. I don't know. What, I don't know the exact definition. Or bitching. Uh, so I have something that I think is fucked up that I think is kind of hilarious, but it might be really fucked up, but it's kind of funny just, to me. Is, is the right hand ring story? On. Is it the right hand ring? No, story? not that one. Uh. Oh, let's t- I'll tell that one next. <laughs> but uh, I think it's you know what really grinds my gears. No, what grinds your gears? When um. People at Wendy's have heart attacks and or what? Um, um, they have some kind of medical issue I am at Wendy's. Was it a, was it a why do you hate Why do you hate people that have medical conditions that walk into Wendy's? Uh, why do they come back? Because it's happened twice in one week, and it's kind of hilarious. Oh boy. But like, it's I mean, it's not. It's like I think it's comical, but I'm not laughing at them. It's just like they might be very sad people. <laughs> I am. I know, but it's like you <laughs> are getting laughing. like. Just the idea of someone at a fast food restaurant having a heart attack from the food that they're eating. So let's preference That's this. Did it happen while you were working? Did you? Actually no, it see wasn't. It wasn't. Happened? I was there. It was like an hour before I went into work. Some uh-huh. guy was with his family, and he came into the bathroom and started having a heart attack. Ooh. And Jesus, they had to horrible. call. Yeah, they had to call the ambulance and all that stuff to mm-hmm. get him. And his wife was like pissed off as fuck because they keep eating. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But like that same incident happened with some other woman. They had to call an ambulance because this guy was like having a heart attack about mm. the food. I don't think that's hilarious. I just think it's somewhat comical. Because wait, wait, what do you mean? Well, okay, hold, what, you be clear as you mean by comical because that that's that takes on the idea of someone. Because America eats too much fast food as it is, so it's just like. This is what you get. Mm-hmm. Like, I you mean, shouldn't yeah, be it's doing a, this. It's the reason why the supersize value meal was taken off the McDonald's menu. It's like, uh, people don't understand that they're But you know what sucks. they replaced that with? What? Junior sized. Um, Guess how many man. junior sized you can get. What do you mean? What's a junior size? Because they have like a junior hamburger. Oh, junior. at McDonald's? So it's like, uh, well, they yeah, they, they have that now. Well, they um, did the bigger Big Mac and the little Big Mac. Or yeah. So, so like, now it's like, how many juniors can you get? 
you can get as many as you want instead of just one junior, one big one. It's, it's. I mean, like, it, it does. It, it is sort of like, yeah. You know, maybe not comical is the word. At least I would use, but it's just like fucking funny. It, well, <laughs> well, it's just like, well, like, it's funny in the sense of like. Don't you see you're kind of like doing this to yourself, sort of? Bullshit? Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah, yeah. Like I see what you mean, but it's sort of like it's. Really I'm not trying to bring it down, but it is. It's just like man, it's just sad. You just yeah, know it's just like, kind of sad. It's like sad. this is just like this is what it is. It is what it I mean, is. I'm no different because like there's a fucking tray full of bacon there, just staring at me in the face. I'm just like oh, bacon. Yeah, it's all about bacon. Just, good. Yeah, but you're not gonna. But you don't. But it's not like a. It's not like a problem for you. Like not really. You know what I mean? Like you're not. You're not struggling with your weight or your blood pressure, or your uh, cholesterol or anything like that, you know? Trust me, I'm conscious of my weight. My worst nightmare, one of my nightmares is getting fat. That's no. my nightmare. How, I mean, like, like huge? Like obese fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like so fat. Cholesterol wise fat. No. No, no, he means like, like can't, like can't get out of your bed fat. Oh. Like so it's fat, fat. <laughs> I can barely fit through the doors and my, my hips hit the doors. Oh. So, oh, so, fat, so fat that I can't ride a roller coaster even though I already hate roller coasters. Yeah. Where, so where you're like, you really wouldn't be able to get outside your house without, like, some sort of assistance. So fat that I can't see my penis when I pee. That's also... So fat that when I sit down, <laughs> that something's sticking to my ass and I can't even... I don't know that it's there. <laughs> so fat that my kid would play tricks on me by posting signs on my back and I can't reach it. <laughs> I have nothing to That's, follow up. That would so be fat. your fault as a parent if your kid's that much of an asshole. <laughs> like so fat after eating, you know, maybe a hot dog, I just felt like I ran a marathon. So fat, you're like George Lucas, uh, after you masturbate, he just sits there Damn. and sleeps. Yeah. He just sits in it. I mean, I do that. <laughs> I do it already after you masturbate. You ever just sleep after you masturbate? Yeah, but like, you don't like have yeah. a cheeseburger next to you and yeah. do it. Oh, that's... Oh, you guys don't? That's fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm weird. I, neither do I. I, so fat that then, I can't do jumping jacks. All right. <laughs> so, you're doing a bit by yourself. Yeah. There's, so many, there's so many, like, you're having fun while doing it. So fat that I'd be playing with my own titties. Stop. Okay. I can finally do it. Hop, hop, hop. It took years, but I can finally do it. Hop, 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 hop. I can suck my own titties like the poor stars count. So fat there's a flavor saver of my neck fat. Guy Fear. See, okay, now you're just insulting yeah. Guy Fear. Yeah, um, that's me. Yeah, the greatest, the greatest oh, cook of our Guy generation. Fieri. Damn it! How much would it take me to jerk off to Guy Fieri? Um, he need to grow tits and look like Charlize Theron. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> not Guy Fieri. No, how much money would it take? How much money? If somebody, if yeah, it was, I got, got one hundred percent. It was Guy Fieri in all his <clears throat> his his fat sweaty glory. Hold on, ah, dude. Oh, what about this? What this doing for you? Oh, oh. What that mouth do though? <laughs> I'm so rock hard right now. Yeah, I'm actually getting I'm actually really getting hungry sort of watching this, but the music doesn't help at all. Oh, look at that mouth. Oh man. Are you you would say no to that? He's like, ah, I got the area. I wanna suck your choke. God, <laughs> making like, love to the choke got here. Nothing nothing gets me harder <laughs> than platinum blonde spikes. This is the way I roll. Look, that guy in there is like, yeah, you fucking yeah, that burger. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, they'll take my family recipe for years and just yeah. demolish it, Guy Fieri. <laughs> just destroy it. This took me 30 minutes to make and I've lost 10 customers. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I, I, need to, I need to pay my rent because this is a small business restaurant and you're really disrupting everything, Mr. Guy Fieri. Mm. Ooh, child, things are gonna be... What weird dreams have you guys had? And I'll segue into the chat. A little uh, bit of this. I, hmm... Weird dream. I've, I've had the dreams I've had recently. I think I've said this before. The dreams I've had really recently are me pulling my teeth out, mm. and I want to. That's s- the worst. It's it's ter- it happens. Have you looked up on that? No. No. Is there like a oh? Did you, yeah. you like look up like the dream book thing of it? What is no, it? not yeah. necessarily. It's kind of like a psychological thing. Oh really? Yeah. Is there what I say? Up. It's like you don't have. Um, oh, it's just like strength to can like control situations or something like that. You're like you're losing your your. Your mojo, not mojo is like the worst word, yeah, word yeah. for it, but like you kind of like, ah, it's like you don't have a full grasp on the situation at hand, so you're losing because your teeth is like the strongest part. Of your yeah, body, yeah, pretty much like the muscle. Oh, okay, stuff. so you're like so losing like, your resolve or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, if you're pulling your teeth and like you you're losing your teeth or you're biting into something or you're losing your teeth, it sort of symbolizes that type of shit. That's, it's fucked up. That's some and I'm like, shit. I hope it's not that. I read that shit. I'm like, damn, I need to rethink my life. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh god, I'm sure. I uh, honestly, I, I could attribute it to that, but part of me thinks, because I've been, ever since I went to the dentist, I've been 
flossing like a fucking madman. <laughs> and and I get well and I and I get like mad at my not mad at myself, but I'm like like yesterday like last <laughs> night. What did you say? Well we'll start no what the I just, fuck? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, uh, wow, that, that threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's because I've been flossing like crazy lately and I just think like my brain sort of like it's just so in this mode of like being worried about what my teeth are like and like having them fall out or something. I, I don't know, but like like last night, like I felt like I didn't floss before I went to bed and then I woke up this morning and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Talking, yeah. Okay. Sorry, you can't, you can't show me shit yeah, like that and expect me to not. I can't. You gotta keep going. I literally can't. No, they'll see. That's, uh, that's too funny. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's pretty much it. I just feel like I'm just like, cause when I went to the dentist, they were telling me that like my teeth because I hadn't been for like three years. Mm -hmm. They were telling me that like teeth were like sort of on the cusp of like, all right, man, we would have had to do some pretty serious shit if you didn't, if you didn't come like fucking within the last six months. Like if you didn't come, you'd be fucked. So I was, well, now in my head, I'm just like, brush, 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 brush. And maybe it's like stressing me out. I don't know. Yeah. I'd be just stressed in general. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, yeah. I, I told you guys, I, I have those dreams, but I just take them in a different way. You just accept them. I laugh them off, which I probably shouldn't. That's bizarre, man. I'm like, oh, take my eye out, wake up. Ha 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 ha. Well, time to go with the day. <laughs> you tightest just laugh to them? Is that what you're doing? Ha 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 ha. Just, just accept it for what it is and maybe like break it down. Just maybe I am a little stressed. Maybe it's something on my mind I can't possibly think about. But at the same time, I feel like dreams. I don't really believe in nightmares. Terrence asked us if we ever have reoccurring nightmares. I don't think I've ever had the same mm -hmm. nightmare I have. times in a row. Because I don't, I'm like stubborn to the point that I won't call it a nightmare. I will still call it a dream. Yeah, yeah. And one of the dreams I had, like Terrence, you'll like this. And uh, I had a dream that a host of a show called The Attack broke into my house. Oh, yeah. They got dream. out of the house. I ended up at an orphanage with people that are pretty gifted. And then all of a sudden, I ripped my teeth out. But it just got loose. I just took it out, whatever. It went back to the dream. Vince McMahon, the CEO of the WWE, is asking me to be in like in a, a movie. <laughs> and I try to act it out. At the same time, helping these kids try to figure out what they want to do. It was just really interesting. It was really weird. But then, and it's still disturbing. Don't take that any short of what it is. That's a yeah, fucked up dream yeah, to have. Yeah, it's bizarre. And then, yeah. God, I think I... <laughs> That the person told me, like, I, I called the doctor. I said, what was wrong? They're like, if you didn't call us, like, three days earlier, you might have died from cancer. And so, like, <laughs> I was like, ha, 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 Like, that's a weird thing to have. And like, the person on the other side was like, ha, 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 yeah. Also, like, yeah, good thing you called us. Ha, 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 that old, that old pesky disease cancer. Yeah, then, like, I woke up. I was like, that's probably something I shouldn't be dreaming about. But at the same time, like, I just have to take it for what it is. It's just, like, you're just stressed out. There's a lot of things you're thinking about that's interceding your cognitive mind of what you really want to dream about that's true that makes, I, I mean it's it superseding it's, it's, there we go it does sort of just it, it, it does sort of in a way project some stuff but some stuff I feel like is, is like random mm -hmm. um, like, the, like the dream I had the other night and it wasn't even it was one of those dreams have you ever had those dreams where like you're you're not fully asleep you're almost you're like on the cusp of, of REM sleep and you're you in start your to sort of like daydream normal dream combination you subconscious have you ever have you even had those though yeah mm -hmm. so like the most recent one i had was like a salvador dolly painting it was bizarre it was like a big kind of desert open area but it was very dark but then there were like bone fish like mario bone fish kind of just flying along the sky and they were like chanting something it was mm -hmm. fucked up maybe it's because i like i played dark souls like the night before yeah so like oh, it might or the, like it could have been that but like spicy it was, food that will fuck you it up it could I, mm -hmm. I did eat before that night so that might have that could have been something like that i i don't know but i it was weird because that was one of the first like i guess i would consider it a nightmare because it was sort of scary but i just sort of was like all right this is here now like i didn't get scared of it as much as i would have normally like i've had i've had Dreams that are not even close to scary and they freak me out. Like I had one uh, where a uh, well, former friend, old friend of your, uh, Brandon Proen, mm -hmm. um, I, I, think, I think I might have told you guys this dream. I went, we were like in snow for some reason. I was like driving a snowmobile along just, just open area. And then there's like him in the middle of the road eating a person. Mm -hmm. Like full, like just diving <laughs> in that, like just whatever. And, and I was like, yeah. what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just talking to him, dude. <laughs> I'm like, you, bro. And I'm like, what? And then, it, and then it cuts to us being on like, 
like one of those giant, not not this. Have you guys seen the ski lifts? Not the ones that are like two, three people on a bench, but like the ones that are basically like trams. Yeah. Like, so like we were on one of those things, and it was like all of us, and then like like an ex girlfriend of mine, and like a bunch of shit, and then like it was like teetering, and then we had to like save it. It was it was weird, man. I I, I don't know. Dreams are weird. But you were you were. I used to what? You were saying you had recurring nightmares. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Before I um was. Okay, so first I had recurring nightmares of just being on a, a roller coaster and like just falling to my death, like that type of shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like where you're just like going up on the like the kick, 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 and then like it just go, and then like just, there'd be no more track, and then I just like fall off. Oh, like roller coaster type. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of weird thing. But like that was like a recurring nightmare. Jesus, um, man, you really do don't like roller coasters. Yeah, I don't. I just don't like the feeling. But it felt like. I like another thing I looked up on like what what that means. I don't really remember what it means anymore because this is a long time ago. Dream but, interpretation? Yeah, like all that oh, stuff. Okay. But I started to study, like it got me to study this artist named Jean Cocteau and he was kind of like... Cocktail. Cocteau. Cocteau. Jean Cocteau. Cocteau. He made the original old. Beauty and the Beast, the first black and white Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. He was like a really, very really, uh, poetic and uh, literary... Um, Rhetoric. What is what is it? Yeah, rhetoric. Rhetoric. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he was just like interpreting dreams. He's like dreams are kind of like a um, a way to understand your subconscious and like what it means, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't necessarily one piece doesn't necessarily necessarily mean something. You kind of have to take it as a whole. Yeah. So you kind of interpret where your mind is at and what you kind of like. It's all like basically metaphors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it's kind of saying. It's like yeah. it's all sort of the cognitive mind. It's all like. I mean, dreams are literally just a combination of, of like the things that you see, the things you like, the things you believe in, the things you don't like or All believe in sometimes. All jumbled one and some weird kind of story that really had makes no sense, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense because it kind of tells you where your where your head's at. Yeah, exactly. It's not, I feel like some do, but like yeah, like, some are just like the snowmobile one. Like I have. I have no idea how I would interpret something like that. Yeah. Like, how would I interpret somebody eating, like, being a cannibal when they're not a fucking cannibal in the Maybe middle of a snowfield? Someone that field? consumes people's personality. I, I, I mean, I, get, I mean, and if you like, want to like go that deep down, I don't know, man. Like, I've always been one of those yeah. people. Where, like, I feel like dreams have a meaning, but I, I feel like just because the brain is such a, a big vault of crazy information that mm. I, I feel like some are definitely caused by as you said like stress or like yeah. your mood or maybe what you ate I feel like some are just like here's your brain just sort of thinking on its own for a little while and it just mm. thinks up some really weird shit yeah. and I'm not sure if there's ever like to all of them there's like a rhyme or a reason behind it yeah you know that, that is another thing that's true for me yeah. for well, what is well I saw you sort of what? But you looked at the. Is something happening in the chat? Or are huh? you guys all good? You guys having was, fun out there? I was just nodding. What you guys were saying? Yeah, roller coasters yeah. suck. Yeah, I was yeah, Terrence. You suck. No. Roller coasters like roller are coasters. roller coasters. I, I are boo boo. I don't know how I feel about them. Dude. They different. I, I like them. At the same time, I don't really give a fuck. It's I was like, if I, I can go to the theme park and I ride a roller coaster, but like, if there's something huge, I'm riding that some bitch. Yeah. yeah Except yeah, Superman. Yeah. I'm never doing Superman. Don't. Man. Please don't. It's it's actual whiplash. It got stuck <laughs> a few like, a few weeks ago, actually. Jesus Christ, man! Just like up on the top. Mm. Oh no! Oh, that's my. That's you want to talk about nightmare? You said like one of your worst nightmares is like just getting fat. That's that's up there. Ever since that fucking, I want to say it was a Hey Arnold episode mm-hmm. where they where somebody got. I, I, I don't remember. I was. Fulby. Oh, sorry. I was don't it? Know. I don't. I, I don't remember. remember. Fulby. Remember the <laughs> Hey Arnold. <laughs> It's all your face and wow. Is that it? Oh, he called Phoebe Phoebe. Yeah, because yeah, his voice wasn't real. Phoebe. 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 Um, <laughs> I want to say it was, I don't remember who it was. I want to say it was like Harold. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, it was Eugene because Eugene was a fucking bad luck. Yeah. Uh, ginger stepchild. <laughs> Sorry, like his life was so fucked up. It, he always got beat up, but he was the nicest kid. He all he wanted was to help people, and he always got fucked. Up. Anyway, uh, but like he got he got stuck up on that like it was like a dinosaur roller coaster. And ever since I saw yeah. that episode, I was like, that's horrifying. I don't want anything to do with that shit. Oh man, that's yeah. I don't... <laughs> what is that? What is happening? Dude, one day, one day I'm gonna make a fucking are compilation you, video of Eli's random noises. Are you wild thornberry? <laughs> are, are, are you? Are, are, are you? Okay. Dying? Are you flea with red hot chili peppers doing that voice? Is that what's happening? <laughs> da, da, dude, I, I'm. Donnie is my favorite. Do you, do you think Flea and Donnie were in. Flea, well, I'm sorry, the animal. Okay, hold on, let me, hold on, let me, let me back this up. Uh-huh. Do you think 
that Flea was somewhat inspired by the animal from the Muppets and therefore also the fucking, therefore also, in fact. Therefore also. <laughs> furthermore. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, and thus. thus <laughs> and, and thus, <laughs> we shall conclude. So, uh, like, and then Donnie from uh, the Wild Thornberries, you think they're all like the same hemisphere of fucking like, oh, hey, we stole that from that. Or we, we were Maybe, inspired yeah. by that. Because they all sort of fit the same category. I think it was his fleet accidentally getting the part. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just in, in the park. And then just running with it. I don't think I've ever heard that. What? That flea was Donnie? No. Oh, yeah. No. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. I was oh. uh, the Nickelodeon when they were around the time of dying. From like Fleetwood and Mac? No. No, no. Fleet 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 I don't know. Who's oh, no. He's, he's a big Laker fan. Oh. He's a big Laker fan. He's the guy that's always going... <laughs> I'm playing bass at the same time. He's, he's, he's usually... Well, besides the lead singer, he's always got his shirt off. From what it seems like, and he's got, and he's sort of got. No offense, he's a good guy. Sort of got fucked up teeth. Oh, okay. It's, 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 is he from London? No, no, he's, no. He just has fucked up teeth. He's okay. straight up Los Angeles, born and raised. He okay. like went to like Reseda High or some shit. Holy shit, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this Anthony other day Kiss. I saw this really cute girl, and she smiled, and she had fucked up teeth. I was like, oh. That's not. That's like not a story. You have to keep. Yeah, yeah. That keep going. That's a keep going. That you have to keep going. Did you, what? Did you like? No, I thought she noticed really that you were like. Wanted to talk up. I'm pretty sure she saw my face like oh, so like then she looked away and then it got oh. awkward afterwards. I can't really do much because like I'm just like, like I'm expecting this whole Hollywood scene where you're just like oh and she's like ah, and like that soft paint, soft focus on her face is like great and she smiles like Whoa, perfect no. teeth but then it wasn't it was just like real life Dude, are you like julia roberts and notting hill or some shit right now oh, so like, she and, and then she glistened in the sunlight so what you're telling me she was like some kind of person driving in her car like a baby driver and she is new oh, and learning wow, baby driver. Driver. i want to see this segue. fucking movie ah. i want to see this movie so bad you, you were talking about this movie for months i told you guys oh. about this movie you guys are like no nah, it sucks i saw the trailer uh, for it dude i was this, i will i will say i was the first one that's that at least i i saw a little bit of it and i was like okay i, I i'm not saying it's gonna be bad but it doesn't for me it doesn't look like something that's impressing me off the bat that's just mm -hmm. me i saw the trailer i was like i'm fucking in edgar right are you fucking kidding me i don't <laughs> Kevin Spacey, I was like John Hamm and Jamie Foxx. I was like, the plot is stupid, but if these people are willing to be in the movie, that's gonna be something. It's got. To be good, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, there's, there's, there's two, and it's, and it's not like too much of a, of like talent saturation where like, like New Year's Day or Valentine's Day or whatever it was, where it was God. like, here's every star ever. Yeah, they like they the good, they do good mix. Like I don't know who Lily James is. I don't know who the guy you mentioned before is. Edgar Wright. Oh, oh, that, that, oh, that's a director? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. He almost directed Ant-Man, but they pulled him off the project. I was pissed off. What has what Edgar Wright directed before? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, people are all... Da, da, da. Wow, people are all stoked on it. Yeah, I don't know. So, it just didn't catch my attention when I watched so the So close to directing Ant-Man. So close. Edgar Wright, the man himself, directed Hot Fush, on the Dead, Scott Pilgrim, The World's End. Ooh, uh, really? Funky Pete, The Man Should Be Shot. Grindhouse, too? Asylum. So a bunch of stuff that oh, I love those movies. he takes serious like concepts and somehow makes it just flow. Yeah, yeah. Really well. And, and, and in like really wacky ways. Because mm -hmm. those movies are all very like... Um, I mean, I mean, I guess bombastic is sort of, I feel like bombastic has like a negative connotation, but it definitely has like a, like, holy shit, this is crazy. This is kind of nuts and this is sort of wacky and sort of uh, camp, not campy, I don't know. You know what I mean? Very like, um, what do I say it? Uh, action filled. It's just a bunch of, just a bunch of shit. Very fantastic. Yep. I mean, if I had to say something that would, get people to watch the movie uh -huh. you can turn your brain off okay I feel like that's the first thing for me when, I, when it comes to movies that's that's kind of nice like you have to turn your brain off the kid had a horrible incident with his parents uh -huh. Kevin Spacey's in this type of movie <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want <laughs> <laughs> I, it could be it could be this is the thing is like that that sort of movie could lend itself to being like actually pretty thought-provoking if, if it wanted to be like those are those are all actors in there that have made films that are very not only iconic but very like oh hey it makes you think it makes you wonder about x y and z mm -hmm. like so it's it's 
I don't know. It, it's it's interesting that they have those, but those are but like especially Jamie, like the first people I definitely look at because I I haven't watched enough of John Hamm. I need to watch Mad Men more. Um, but Jamie Fox and Kevin Spacey right off the bat are very eclectic. They are so if you put them in almost any role, they're probably going to do really well. Have you seen John Hamm on any SNL skits? Uh, no, I have not. Oh God, I think those are like some of the best episodes. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've watched those. Sounds very good. Such a great all around actor. It's funny, yeah. I, I, I've, I've seen I think the only I did see him on an SNL skit when he did the um, the Kristen Wiig fucking I'm, I'm pretty sure he did one of those I, I want to say I could be wrong <laughs> what skit the fucking the, 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 the I eat dinner in the dark with the, yeah. so it's like the three so there's, there's the three uh. girls that he's like trying to woo but then the fourth one is very weird looking with a giant forehead and like that's the whole bit with Kristen Wiig so like mm-hmm. they've done that several times with like usually their, their guest host or whatever yeah. I'm pretty, I think He's I want to say John Hamm did like eggs. a he was like a French guy or like an Italian guy. No, that was um, that was the other guy from Portlandia. Uh, Fred Armisen. Yeah, no, Fred Armisen's the one who does and then the finger legs. Yeah, that's him. No, 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 no. So he was. So there's usually a guy who plays the 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 object. Of oh affection. yeah, so those yeah. Elton John. Yeah, I don't remember the other I, two. I want to say John Hamm was one. I'll look it up. Anyway, I I, I, I I'm not entirely certain, but I'm about ninety percent certain. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it's time for the bad inputs. Viz is the obituaries. We're going to the cemetery, y'all. Aww. Two deaths that happened this week was Big Black from Robin Big. I know. Health issues. Got to take care of yourself, yeah. y'all. Forty-five, young forty-five. What? So what what was the 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 health issues? Just like heart like attacks. Not eating healthy whatsoever. <laughs> That's how he got so big. Yeah. And then Michael Parks, Kevin Smith's mentor, pretty much, and amazing actor. I didn't get to finish the movie, but. Um, Red. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Movie. Yeah, I, 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 red. I, fuck. I was gonna finish yesterday. Red Dead. No. no. Red uh, tails. He mentions it in the obituary. Uh, da, da, da. Red State. Yeah. Red State and Walrus. Kevin Smith wrote those movies directly for Michael Parks. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. I don't think I've I've actually never I've seen this picture. I don't think I at least recognize Michael Parks from anything. Obviously, it's extremely sad he died. Just yeah. I just mm-hmm. I wish I was more aware of his work. He. I, let's see. Easily, like IMDb can get that, but from the role he was playing, it seems like he's just an actor that feels like he can fit any role. And even as a, a mad scientist trying to turn someone into a walrus, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and just like uh, he, Mike, uh, Kevin Smith wrote Red State and the Walrus movie, horror movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw, I saw a little tidbit of his Instagram post there, and he basically called him the Yoda of acting. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's that's some really high praise. For somebody, oh wait, yeah, that might be a different Michael Park. Oh, we're still on the damn it full screen. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, okay. why well, look this up? Yeah, there we go. So they can't see my searches while I do this, but yeah, it's just two deaths in one week. But as they say, death comes in threes. So I wonder who will be next. Oh, that's is that really a saying? Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever heard that. That's sad. I, it's, I don't know. It's, I, I wish these people. Didn't have to go. Twin Peaks, fucking A. It was supposed to be in the reboot. Oh, shit. Wait, he didn't kill Bill. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Wait, what? Who? Yeah. Ooh. He was not kill Bill. As who? As Earl McGraw. I don't even remember Earl McGraw. Let me see his face again. Let's see. Is that like a, like a cop or something? Uh, let's see. I'm not really sure what it is. Michael Parks? Meryl Streep and Anne. Don't, I, I, I actually want to rant about Meryl Streep so bad, and I'm not going to because she's a lovely lady. In the words of uh, George Costanza. Oh, he was. This yeah. was like the best scene ever. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, oh, never mind. I was talking about that first picture. But yeah, I remember that. He's driving with his uh, shades on his dashboard, and he goes up. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen Kill Bill in a minute. I'll have to rewatch it. I don't remember that part. Like thing, I'm like, the part that always sticks out of my head most is either is like the uh, the Lucy Liu fight scene. Oh yeah. And uh, well, and the Cobra, and the the, the Cobra part where she uh, she attacked Rebecca Remain Stamos, I think wasn't that her? Uh-huh. She was like she was like the the girl with the eye patch, wasn't that Rebecca Remain? Oh, uh, something like that. I don't remember her name. I want to say I, I don't remember, but I I'm, I know it was a a very attractive blonde woman. Yeah, she was in. Oh damn, I was just looking up and, her. Thing the other day, it might have been. It might have been the girl from uh, Splash. Oh, I don't think it was her. That's a throwback, right? Fucking Tom Hanks. I've never even seen the movie, but I've heard the sh- fucking movie name so many times. I don't, it might have not been her. Like I said, I, I it's, it, it's, it's, it's 
pops out of my head. I do not remember. Oh, no, I don't remember the well, rain. Ter- fucking next man anyway. Terrence wants to hear your rant on Meryl Street. I, do, like, why is she win everything? I, I like, she's I, look, great. I, that she's doesn't good. mean that she she's deserves great fucking actor. everything, dude. She's uh, the queen of she, acting does right she? now. Does she? Yeah. Does she? Come she's on, the man. Beyonce, yeah. She's the Beyonce of the, uh, the film world. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Dude, there's got to be somebody that... She can shit like, gold anytime. I'm, I'm not saying that she isn't a great actor and she doesn't... Or great actress and doesn't deserve to be, like... Like, she's, if she's the Michael Jordan of actresses, I'll fucking accept that. But Michael Jordan didn't win every goddamn MVP. Yeah. That's, that's, all, that's my point. That's like, because, that's Michael, because Jordan. Michael Jordan isn't Meryl Streep. Yeah. Michael Jordan God. wishes he could be Meryl Streep. I don't know, whatever, man. I, I don't know. I, I'm just... I guess for me, I hear it. I feel like I don't watch the fucking Oscars. I just don't because I hear every year Meryl Streep is so somewhere there, and I'm just so like, I, don't, yeah, well, I just <laughs> so I'm just, I just like don't watch it. It bothers me. Like, she's gonna fucking win. Who cares, dude? Well, luckily she's not in every movie every year. But she went from the Deer Hunters to the Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> She's the one. Yeah, that's like whatever, man. I saw the Devil's Wear Pro. I, dude, I, like really? Oh, yeah, she acted like a fucking complete bitch. She's Sweet. a real bitch. Wow. You felt that in your Wow. Style, dude, I, I'm but like before that, that performance. In, like I don't mean to talk her. shit, but I'm pretty sure if I really tried hard enough, I could be a complete dick on camera. You couldn't yeah, be Meryl Street. Street. Yeah. 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 She's a and make it classic. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> like, <if you> <laughs> I'm not shitting on her ass. Especially if, like we weren't born in the time period that she was like prominent. Yeah. That, so that she was in Kramer versus Kramer. I will absolutely admit that. Part of it is because I haven't watched fucking her movies. Like I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't judge her. But I'm just like, God damn it! There's, I, I just feel like just from a casual audience perspective, how the fuck is she winning all the time? Like that's that's it just confuses me. She's been She's winning since good. Seinfeld was popular. Yeah. God damn! Yeah. So like early nineties. Like Costanza was like, this woman should take Meryl Streep. This woman, she's playing <laughs> any role that she wants. She's just tricky every time, every time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe I did have a, a little George. He gets fucking mad at like the most petty shit. Seriously. <laughs> oh, fucking, oh, we, I, sorry, I was talking about, I talked about Seinfeld with, with my, my parents yesterday and like, that shows, that shows like, it, it does a really good job of like, of something that like, to this day, people are like trying to emulate of like, taking real life scenarios of com- and like making it very comedic. Like I still laughed at a part where he went to the bank and he picked up one of the, the, the pens that are on a chain and it just didn't work because none of those fucking pens ever fucking work. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's shit, that's hilarious even now because it's just so goddamn true. Yeah, never fucking. Uh, I love that stuff. Yeah, and they even made a little uh, a season kind of arc around trying to write a show within a show because they got picked up by NBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> George had tried to help write it and everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, we're going to make a show about nothing. <laughs> nothing? Nothing at all. Nothing. Like I don't know what's gonna work. <laughs> you got like super meta within it. It's really funny. People Even want... it just shows you how far you can go. Even Seinfeld, he didn't want to be in the show. Really? Larry David, him too, because like I'm not an actor. So that's why, like, so many scenes of Seinfeld, you can see him like cracking up like halfway through the scene before even finishing the bit. The bit. Because he's not an actor. Yeah, he's yeah, not still no. make me work. He's a comedian. Oh, it's all about 30 years old. Oh. Yeah, he do, I'm sorry. That's how, it's how Wait, it works. What did you say? I don't know what you said. It's always, they, I don't know what that was. I just wanted a family guy joke. The one thing I learned from Seinfeld, he was like, it's all about 300 years old. I don't, I don't know if he's talking about like a, like a mummy or something. I don't know. It was so stupid. It was just family guy riffing on the way that Jerry Seinfeld delivers every fucking joke he ever makes. Goodness. It's true. It's fine. It's still it's still funny, but it's very like, why do things happen? Things happen, and then you have to deal with the things. How do the things happen all the time? And somehow it's still funny. It is funny. It's funny. It's not following that normal formula of like, oh, here comes this, and here nope. comes this, here well, comes the punchline. Because it's, it's like, the truth. That's why everyone born in 1991, their knowledge of Jared Seinfeld is, well, it's a deal with airline food. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> dude, that's all I knew him for. That's why I'm, I'm trying to currently watch, I think I'm like season three of Seinfeld, because I know mm-hmm. the show is like so iconic. I saw it on like a Reddit post that like, yeah. at the last, the season finale, like all of Times Square just stopped to watch mm-hmm. it in the middle of fucking Times Square. Like, mm-hmm. It was that big. So like, I, I feel like I, I sort that's of hold myself mm-hmm. to, to watch this. It's freaking crazy. So what? No more sex robot stuff? Is that where it moves on from the sex robots? Is that what my understanding? No, I, I do you like bro- a sex robot, Toki. I if it you gives it for Christmas, if it gives head like the one I sent you guys. What if gives? What if? What if someone just tricks you and puts sandpaper inside the mouth of it? What? Oh, and you don't know. Human being with you know, gifting the, with uh, that pleasure. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then like someone just like laughing because they fucked you over. 
Thanks. Okay. Oh, I mean, I doubt it. Get on the fucking look, look at this. Look at this, boys and a girl, and we switch the video right away. Are we, are we invited to the sex robot community? We're trying to find out about sex robots that are <laughs> private, so we can't get That's there. some bullshit. Oh, no, dude. Unfortunately. I, I mean, but go imagine, darn. imagine, if you will, a robot sucking off a popsicle. <laughs> So that's the video I sent you. Like, yeah, you, you sent us a lot of very <laughs> strange things this morning. What was that? The spinner thing? Spin that shit cracked me up. I don't know what it was. You guys ever seen that before? No. No, we saw we saw it. You saw it on Couch Shop. I saw a guy get it's his so fucking cool. ear destroyed from it. Really? Yeah. Some guy I had it at work and he was playing around with it, and I was just like, I get real. I like little gadgets, so I was just like, like <laughs> and some lady had it. Um, she was like the new yo yo. How old is she? Yeah, it's like the new yo yo. She was like, I don't know, maybe like 16 ish with her mom. And she's like, oh, this is so cool. Get it from this website. She's a liar. And she let me touch it and hold it. No, so I, I don't, it, looks, uh, it, it looks. It looks. It looks like something. I just don't. It just looks like something you spin in your hand. Like, I. I oh, shit. What do you, what's wrong with these spinner things, huh? That's fun. What do you do with these? You can do tricks with them and whatnot. It just spins, and it's like mm -hmm. it, the way. It's, yeah, yeah, it's so stable. Yeah, that... yeah, it's really stable. <laughs> what the fuck? See the, tricks, <laughs> see the tricks you can do with the spinner of these? Yeah, it's awesome, man. Like Booker T back in the day. You, know, you can throw it up in the air. You can you can play with your family, or you can you know blow out somebody's eardrum. That's the issue with these Damn. toys that people come out with. You can. <clears throat> hurt people and kids get bored they're like oh well mm, done spinning it yeah. let's do healy tricks off a rail like 15 feet above a bridge especially <laughs> thanks terrence thanks especially fucking youtube meets jackass over here i thought i let that one slide <laughs> fucking bread she let me touch it and hold it i, think, I, thought, I thought i thought i let that one slide you guys didn't hear me so i was like yes if we don't hear a chat later you know? yeah there you go a, we have a bond yeah. of this i i don't i, I never like like I said, it reminds me of yo-yos. And I remember like when yo-yos came out. You could do the wild. cradle I around do, no, the I world. Yo-yos pissed me off because I couldn't do any of that Walk shit. Dog. I couldn't do any of it. She not was awesome. Dude. You could, do, could you do some of that stuff? Yeah. I could, dude, I'm not even kidding. I couldn't even fucking get it down and then back up into my hand without at least fucking like, up once or twice. It's like the way you did it. You got to have like a little like flick. Yeah, you got to like, have like a flick it. You got to flick it. You gotta flick it. it. Do you guys remember the recess episode of the yo-yo? I don't remember the recess yeah. episode. Of the I, I don't remember a lot of recess episodes besides Yeah, I don't watch the recess like. too much. I watch it. I just don't remember. Secret of the yo and some old custodian talk Gretchen had a I just looked at her fucking teeth glasses <laughs> I was like look how octagon they are that's what? how I learned the word octagon that's perfect look at this fucker what the fuck this, this kid fuck. <laughs> fucking bad this is dude this is how it felt watching kids that were good with yo-yos though yeah how about five and nine for five let's see the deck cookie <laughs> Who was the voice of TJ Detweiler? Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Terrence. The other Thomas. Terrence uh, said that he was like Ness with his yo-yo. The other Thomas. I don't know the other Thomas. One yo-yo? Big deal. Big deal. Uh-oh. Pull another one out of her pussy. Oh, damn, yeah, dude. Four yo-yos, Oh, though. shit. Oh, all up in that cooter. Quidditty? What is oh, that? Oh, dolls. What's up, Quidditty? Oh wait, no, we got to do that. Look at it go oh. off. It's like, yeah. Well, that, that, that seems less... The Invisible Man! She's doing the Invisible Man! The Invisible Man. The oldest trick in the book, my friend. Did she did she throw her, her yo-yos against her shoes and then made them walk? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the Invisible Man. That's friend. not real. That's, that's not a real yo-yo trick. The Invisible that's, that's a real yo-yo trick. There's no if that honestly I'm pretty sure that isn't a real yo-yo chick, but for them that was a terrible yeah, sentence. A yo -yo yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo -yo. Uh, if that isn't a real yo-yo trick, but I I'll give them credit. It sounds like a real yo-yo trick. It yeah. sounds like Invisible Man. Yeah. It, it sounds like one. We yeah. haven't seen it in ages. The Invisible Man. She's a real yo-yo ma. You happy? What, what instrument did yo-yo ma play? <laughs> Fucking violin, bitch. Was it the violin? Piano. <laughs> <laughs> Those are vastly different. <laughs> I don't remember. It was either one. The play is it was a piano. Correct. It was a piano. It was a piano. It was a piano. I, I, piano? I, it was a piano. I'm gonna say I don't know shit about Yo-Yo Ma. So please, <laughs> please, fucking. Let's see. We learned about this Mr. Gilbert's class in junior high. 
Oh, really? It was... Fuck, it was a violin. Yep. Oh. Damn it. No, it wasn't a violin. It's a cello. It's a cello. Yeah. Ah, cello. damn it. Cello. Damn it. I was so close. Mm. Yet so far. I, I I didn't believe that cellos were real when I first saw the Aristocats. Um, cello? <laughs> Monster okay. real. Ra- random thought. Just, just... I just remember the scene from the Aristocats where there's a bunch of cats playing instruments and one of them had like a big cello and I was like, that's a thing? That's not what is that? And cello, I'm, you got If we're going to go into that territory, what's your favorite animated movie? Ooh. Chat, well, answer this back, question as well. on that one. Aristocats for me, probably. Oh, you like the Aristocats? Not favorite, but it's definitely up there from the Disney sing-along fucking VHS tapes I would play. It was Melody favorite. time. Everybody, mm. everybody, everybody. Everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff. Melody time was my favorite. What's Melody time? <gasps> oh my goodness. Was that the one with Donald Duck? No. Oh, no, sorry. I, I'm thinking. I'm, there's a, there's another Disney show or Disney uh, movie that I watched that's really good. It was like different shows. Oh, was the fucking thing out? I was. That's what she's talking about. Yeah. They just take different like songs from different like Disney movies. Yeah, like. Really fucking good. This piece do of the shit. one, do the one with the cowboy. <laughs> what now? The do cowboy, the one with the not cowboy. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually. We can't show a lot of that. Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> we 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 can't show. I, I will. I will get banned. Oh. I can't show that because that's that's like copyright. Well, if you ever stuff, watch man, Melody man. Time, because Melody Time is a shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the fucking the three caballeros. Yeah. That, dude, I fucking love that the one. Three caballeros. Such a great one, beautiful. That was that was one of my favorite. That was that was, um, and then I learned from my dad that that uh, I'm, well, I don't know if it's exactly coincided, but I would imagine the Three Amigos also sort of was a little bit birth from this, but obviously more of a. Oh yeah, Steve I think they have a little clip of that inside the uh, the Melody Time too. Do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the bird. And then Melody Time had the the bug ball. I was like, look, let's, let's all crawl, gotta crawl, gotta crawl to the ugly bug ball, to the ball, to the ball. <laughs> yeah, they Everyone's did. Everyone's happy. One and all. The ugly oh, I just got such a nostalgia trip. So let's fly south for a song with my friends Donald, yeah, Jose, and Chico. Yeah, it's the melody thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the melody That's racist as fuck. It is. With me, caballeros, three caballeros. There you go, three caballeros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm glad they were so progressive in 1948. <laughs> Let's see, chat has provided us with a certain possible. Let's see, what? Uh, uh, what whoa, the act- we're not doing time. Hey, hey, hey we're not, the gaming channel around this here. Is what we were sent. Whoa. We're not, we, we ain't whoa. doing this top this 10. We were sent. <laughs> we ain't we ain't doing this we ain't doing this nonsense. What is this? Mystique? What fucking games are these? Are these games? Oh, that looks horrible. That so looks kidding. phallic and horrifying. Well, what is happening? We're near the end of the podcast. What else do you guys want to talk about? I'm gonna take a pee pee. I, I pizzas. Am I right? He pulled up that that weird log with his penis. Straight up, there's a helicopter. There's a helicopter holding a dude out with his dick, just straight out, oh, and he's he's drooling on the fire, purple fire, and he's pulling his. What the fuck was that? I don't know what any of that was. I don't know what is have strip fighter. Street. What is going on, Terrence? What the fuck did you? What is with these? What are these fighting stances? Uh. This is like the one of the- Oh! She fired too. She twirled her boobs. She what? She was twirling her boobs. They said it in the, in the, in the subtitle. They, she, she went like, she went like, oh, I can actually do this now. She, she went like this and she fucking, woo! <laughs> what is this? Look at your, hold on. This I gotta go back. Porn. Did you see that wink? Watch out, what I'm talking about. Watch out, what I'm talking about.